In this tutorial, I'm going to show you to create an auto reply with an attachment in Contact Form 7 so that when people fill out your forms, they will get an email saying whatever you want it to say, but more than likely saying thank you for filling out our form and maybe here is a nice image or PDF or something, something you can attach to the auto reply. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we are all about WordPress. And if you want to get better at WordPress, make sure you stick around and hit the bell icon or the thumbs up or both while you're at it. And with that out of the way, let's head into the screen capture. So in this tutorial, there is no file upload associated with this email. If you want the user to upload a file, I've linked a tutorial up above that shows you how to include file upload features into your contact form. This tutorial, as you know, is to attach a file from you to the autoresponder email. So this is just a really basic form. It just has your name, email, subject, message, and a send button. If you click on the mail tab, we define in this first section the email that goes to you or somebody on your team. So you'd have your to address as your company, wherever that is. The rest of the information is based on what the, the, the individual filled into the contact form. If you scroll down to the very bottom, we have, yours is probably unchecked when you go there, you have a use mail to. Check that box, and now this is the email that's going to go to the person that filled out the form. So in the to field, we have their email, which is the email they enter in the form, and then you can customize the email you send to them. So maybe you want to say, thanks for uh, asking for the PDF. It is attached below. And then in the two, in your original, the one that goes to you, you can maybe say, um, uh, asked, or hang on, let's take their name. Name asked for, or no, let's, let's say email, or name was sent uh, PDF. So then you know what was sent to them. In the file attachments down below is where we attach the file that's on your server. And the attachment URL is relative to the wp-content folder, or you can have a direct path from the folder root or from your server root, which starts out as forward slash home, and then the name of your hosting account, forward slash, and then public underscore HTML, forward slash, and then possibly a folder for your subdomain, and then wp-content, that one's much more complicated. It's easier just to upload the file directly to the media library. If you go to the media library, you see stuff here. Click on whatever one you want and copy everything after the slash after WP content. So starting with uploads. So let's copy that, paste it in here. And let's say we want to add something else. So we're going to add that one. And maybe we want to add just for good measure, Facebook symbol. Copy everything after the, the forward slash, after WP content. Copy. Paste it in here. It's got to be on a separate line. Make sure it's on two separate lines. Don't need commas or anything, just two separate lines. Then click on save. Now take this form and include it on a page. You possibly have it on a page already. I'm just going to go to pages and then add new. In the Gutenberg editor, I'm going to add a title for this page. going to call it contact form 7. Uh, file in auto responder. Sure. For my story, I'm just going to paste in my short code. It's going to detect it's a short code, automatically add that module for us, and put the short code in there. Then I'm going to click on publish, publish again, click on view post. I command clicked or control clicked to open a new tab. Now I just fill out our form. Let's put our name in here. My email I'm going to use as this one. This is going to be where the autoresponder goes to because I'm pretending I'm the person filling out this form. So the autoresponder with those two files attached will come to this email address. The subject is going to be, uh, uh, hang on, that's fine, whatever. Um, files attached, sure, send. The message and subject don't really matter. That's just for fun. What really matters is the email that's received. So let's go to first the email that you're going to get as the person owning the website. So here's the email that was sent. Uh, the subject is file upload testing, message body, files attached. And Bjorn was sent P 
PDF. That's all good and fine. You can customize this message again under the mail tab. This is the message right here. Customize it in there. The other email in the other account, this is the simple sequence account. If we check the email, we have this account right here. We have our Facebook icon that we attached from the site and our PDF that we attached from the site. And that's how you do it. That's as simple as it is. So this could be used as an autoresponder. The contact form seven could be a makeshift opt-in if you wanted to, or maybe this is some kind of onboarding message, or I don't know what this could be, but clearly you looked up this video so you have an idea for what you want in here, and that is how you get it done. One last thing to note, I mentioned earlier, you don't have to have the file in the media library. If you want to know how to get the file from somewhere else on your website, what you need to do is log into your hosting account. I'm gonna do that right now. Inside your hosting account, click on File Manager, and you will see on the left-hand side where you have the list of files, the directory list, you will see this right here, forward slash home, forward slash WPPHD. Likely yours is gonna say forward slash home, forward slash something else, and that's the name that was given to your hosting account. And then we have public underscore HTML. And then the file can be anywhere in here. So if, if we wanted to attach a file somewhere on your server that's not in the media library, in the file attachments, we have forward slash home, forward slash WP PhD, forward slash uh, public underscore HTML, forward slash wherever the file is. Let's just do this for fun. Just go into events and IMG, a bunch of files in here. This is from a previous video that I did. So let's just take this file name here, banner.jpg, and we gotta know the path we went to get there. So in the top left here, we have the path, public underscore HTML forward slash events forward slash IMG. So go back into the form editor. You notice the box is in red and there's a message here saying attachment file does not exist at this address, which is true. And that will update to show the file does exist once we have a correct path. So the path we have was events forward slash IMG forward slash and then the banner dot JPEG file. And this should update in a few seconds. There we go, it updated. So it detected this image and said, okay, there's an image there. If we click on save, it'll save that form. Come back out to here. Let's refresh this page. Uh, let's refresh it like this and quickly fill out this form again. Let's give it a different file name uh, or a subject name, file send testing, then click on send. And the email sent to you, the site owner, is gonna be the same as just a minute ago. So we're gonna look just in the person sending the email, which is the simple sequence account for the new email there. And here's the new email. And we have the three attachments now, Facebook and the PDF that were from the media library. And then this banner.jpg, which is from the URL path, the URL path right here to attach that image. So those are the two ways you can attach different file types to your autoresponder emails with contact form seven. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you follow along, then hit the bell icon or the thumbs up and check out our private Facebook group, link to in the description down below. And next up, click on one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better WordPress. Until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.